right here to 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 right there. When the bracket was filled, we're excited. Ben Folger made a fast break to his computer. About you know four o'clock, the selection show ended and. We all knew we were going to do it. Traveling almost 3,000 miles to Raleigh, North Carolina meant nothing to Folger and his two friends. We were jumping around. We had, we had like all 10 of our buddies in here. Although getting tickets to the game, they feared, would be no easy slam dunk. Last year, the competition for NCAA tickets was steep. People were getting turned down left and right just because it was on the West Coast and students could afford to go to Sacramento. Gonzaga ticket office. But by early afternoon, Folger and his friends were the only three students so far to take the plunge. This has been the first time since 2001 that we've been uh, shipped out of the West Coast. Associate Athletic Director for GU, Dennis Kalina, admits tickets for this year's NCAA tournament aren't selling as fast as they have in the past. It's kind of throwing our fans for a little bit of a loop. Kalina said when you factor the distance, the price for airfare, and it's all happening on Easter weekend, many fans had to rethink their decision to follow the team. It's going to be a little bit more phone calls this year, which is fine. Folger says he'll still be celebrating Easter. We'll be praying. Praying for a win and a second trip to the Sweet 16. We love college basketball. Absolutely. <laughs> And two of those three students actually were able to use frequent flyer miles, which helped offset the cost to Raleigh. Right now, the cheapest airfare we can find for a round-trip ticket to Raleigh is about 700 bucks. although it's a very long day of travel with several layovers. Again, despite the distance, despite the cost to make it there, uh, Gonzaga believes it will be able to sell all of its allotted tickets, and at this point it does not believe it will have any tickets made available to the general public. Reporting live at Gonzaga, Karina Shagrin, KXLY4.